Teacher Arame. Are you ready to learn? Come and join me as we discover more learning one video lesson at a time. Our topic is making connections. Our learning competency, make connections between information read and personal experiences. Before we begin discussing making connections, let us have our first activity called We Belong Together. Which items belong together? Look at the pictures on the screen. Group the pictures that shall go together. Then think of a proper heading for them based on their existing relationships or connections. I will give you a few moments to do the activity. Here are the correct answers. The shovel, rake, hoe, and water sprinkler belong together because they are all connected to gardening. We can label them as gardening materials. Meanwhile, the measuring cup, casserole, oven, and frying pan belong together because they are all connected to cooking. We can label them as kitchen materials. Do you have another answer or idea? Don't hesitate to share it with us on the comment section. Making connections is truly vital as a comprehension skill since it helps you relate and connect what you heard or read and viewed. Moreover, it enhances your understanding of the text or passages or videos you read or viewed. There are three ways to make connections. You can make connections from text to yourself. You can make another connection using text to another text. And you can make connections from a text to the world. Let us discuss text to self connections. Text to self connections are highly personal connections that a reader makes between a piece of reading material and the reader's own experiences or life. Let us take this sentence for example. This story reminds me of a vacation we took to my grandfather's farm. In this example, the story that the speaker is reading reminds him of his personal experiences when they had a vacation in his grandpa's farm. The story here is the text and the vacation is the self or the vacation he took in the grandfather's farm. So in this example, it is a text to self connection. Here are common questions you can ask in connecting texts to your personal experiences. What does this remind me of something in my life? What is this similar to in my life? How is this different from my life? Has something like this ever happened to me? How does this relate to my life? What were my feelings when I read this? Have I changed my thinking as a result of this reading? And what have I learned? Let us proceed to text-to-text -text connections. Text-to-text -text connections occur when readers are reminded of what they have read or viewed with the other books by the same author, stories from a similar text types, or perhaps on the same topic. Readers gain insight during reading by thinking about how the information they are reading connects to other familiar texts. Let us take this sentence for example. This character 
has the same problem that I read about in a story last year. This is an example of a text-to-text -text connection. Why? Because the character in the story that the speaker have read before and the character in the story that he is reading now has the same problem. There are two different books, two different stories, two different characters, but the problems are the same. This is why it is considered a text-to-text -text connection. The character in the new story and the character in the story the speaker read have connections. So, it is text-to-text -text connections. Here are common questions you can ask in connecting text read or videos viewed to another text. What does this remind me of in another book, picture, or video I've read or viewed? How is this text, picture, or video similar to other things I've read or viewed? How is this different from other books, texts, pictures, or videos I've read or viewed? Have I read about something like this before? Let us discuss text-to-world connections. Text-to-world connections are the larger connections that a reader brings to a reading situation. This allows the reader's ideas about how the world works that goes far beyond own personal experiences. We learn about things through television, movies, magazines, and newspapers. Often, it is the text-to-world connections that teachers are trying to enhance when they teach lessons in science, social studies, and literature. Let us take this sentence for example. I saw a program on television that talked about things described in this article. In this scenario, the program on the television and the article that the speaker is reading are connected to each other because they talk about the same things or the program on the television may actually be talking about the article that the speaker is reading. So, this is an example of a text-to-world connection. Here are common questions you can ask in connecting real-world happenings to text. What does this remind me of in the real world? How is this text similar to things that happen in the real world? How is this different from things that happen in the real world? How did that part relate to the world around me? Now that I have discussed with you three ways to make connections, let me give you more examples. But before that, let me give you a science trivia. Here are five interesting facts about chicken. The gizzard is the part that helps the chicken grind its food. The father, the rooster, makes a crowing sound that sounds like cock a doodle doo There are 175 varieties of chicken. A hen lays an average of 300 eggs per year. And a chick takes about 21 days to hatch. Speaking of chicken, here is the life cycle of a chicken. The picture shows how a chicken grows from eggs to adult chicken. If we try to make connections to ourselves, like the chicken, I myself also grew from baby to a healthy big girl now. And as time goes by, I will continue to grow until I reach the peak of my growth. 
if we try to make connection from text to text, I also learned from one of our lessons in science that even plants grow from young to old. And if we try to make connections from text to the world, like the chicken, I learned that the earth continues to grow older and time will come it will be weakened by what we are doing, so we need to take good care of it. I hope that you've learned something from the examples I have given you. Let us now have our second activity, which we are going to call Pick Connect. Study the picture below. Think of its connection to you, a story you have read, and your community. I will give you time to finish this activity and you may put or write your answers on the comment section. Enjoy! Let us proceed to the third activity which is I connect. Read each statement carefully. Classify them as to text-to-text -text connection, text-to-self connection, or text-to-world connection. Number one, that picture I am looking at reminded me of my primary years where I used to cry before entering my classroom. The message of this portrait depicts the real situation of what is happening now in our nature. Number three, this text or passage is the same as the lesson we discussed in science about the prevention of the possible spread of coronavirus. This movie is similar to the passage I read before whose author and editor is the same person. And number five, the video we watched is somewhat the same as what we studied yesterday in mathematics. Here are the correct answers. How many correct answers did you get? Comment down your scores below. How did you find our activities today? Using the symbols below, Choose one which best describes your experience in working on each given task. Comment down three smiling faces if you were able to do the task without any difficulty. The task helped you in understanding the lesson and you learned a lot today. Comment down two smiling faces if you were able to do the task. It was quite challenging but it still helped you in understanding the lesson and comment down one smiling face if you were not able to do the task. It was extremely difficult and you need additional enrichment activities to be able to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for good luck and good grades. Until next time!